guys, welcome back to another episode. Cheers for tuning in and apologies for the infrequency of the videos of late. Both Bray and I have been super busy, but I've just got some time at the moment now where I can sit down and punch out a few videos. This one is on a dive that happened about a week ago with my mate Zach. Zach's a long blonde haired fella, you've probably seen him in other videos. We jumped in the car on a Thursday Arvo and we shot out to a spot where we thought we may have a chance of getting our hands onto some early season slipper lobsters. When we got to the spot, the westerly was blowing quite heavily, which made it nice and easy for us to get tied into the headland and check some new ground. We are absolutely stoked with how the day of diving went and I'm going to run it through for you now, so enjoy. Zach just found a pretty amazing slipper hole. He <laughs> found like a couple stacked on top of each other. Have a dive together and see if we can pluck a few. Now it's all on me If I'm gonna win Oh, I'm just gonna get up We've managed to bag a couple of nice size craze each and um, we're just scoping out some new ground but we found a pretty cool little nest. I'm just taking the GoPro off my head and I'm just gonna fill the hole and show you guys it's just stacked up. At this stage of the dive, we'd only bagged two slipper lobsters each. We decided to grab two Easterns as well. So as you can see, it was a very successful dive. Two slippers each, two Easterns and two abalone. Couple nice crows there, Zach. Yeah, mate, not bad. Couple. Good size, have legals. Oatly's impressed. Mate. <laughs> he's like, no. <laughs> nah, he's. They could ride you. He's into it, he likes them. Just waiting at the ramp um, for Callum and Max from Nautical Productions. We're going to head out and go for a dive. We've been trying to tee this up for a while and today's been the first day on a weekend where we can all get together and actually get out there. So I've um, got the boat here. Fingers crossed she starts today. I've um, been having a bit of trouble with that lately, but yeah, keen to get into it. Hopefully the boys get here soon. Sounds like this could be the time, mate. Oh,
I only saw one, but I don't have a torch. Yeah, we can check those holes over here as well. Yeah, see. and it's just coming to slipper season at the moment. Yeah, we pretty much hit the jackpot. A cow, um, he grabbed one out of like a little cave. He wasn't sure there was anything else under there and then I went back down, had a look and like sitting on the <laughs> roof of the cave was it big daddy. Yeah, so pretty stoked. And we've just boosted over to another spot now. We're gonna have a look for some Easterns and some abalone and then hopefully jag a few fish as well. When we first jumped in, <laughs> I shot this too high and it busted off and then Max had to come down and clean up. <laughs> but he ended up in the end. It's good we got a fish in there as well. Good to finally get some craze after all that boat ramp happened. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't think we were going to get out here before the boat took so long to start but I was stoked we did. Not a bad little drummer. I just could not line it up right. It was a bit tricky, but managed to get him in the end. It'll go down great. Made the most of what we got and grabbed some slippers, got some fish. Happy days. Very good. <laughs> 